All right. Did you feel like you were playing in a vacuum out there? Nobody, nobody was watching you guys. Uh, yeah, I didn't know the final was today. <laughs> <laughs> it was loud. Um, it'll probably be easier playing Brad because then you know when the cheers are going to come. And because there, there was actually a couple times where he had to manage the situation, um, actually pause our shot just in case we needed to communicate. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been hand signals and, you know, that's all we would have been able to do. Well, you kind of even had to reset at one point, too. You were down on the hack and all of a sudden the, the explosion of noise and you had to stand up. Yeah, the, guy, the guy said to me, uh, just uh, pause here. If he makes a shot, it's going to go nuts and nobody's going to be able to hear. And <laughs> you know, sure enough, it, uh, yeah, it was, wow, it's going to be a crazy week. And, and, you know, putting all that aside, important for you guys to get out to a good start and, and get the win right out, of, right out of the gate. Yeah, um, you know, this every game's important out here. But, uh, you know, a battle against Saskatchewan, that's definitely one uh, we wanted to win. And, um, you know, we're, uh, we're feeling really good uh, going in tomorrow. We actually have Team Gushu tomorrow morning. So hopefully everybody uh, has a little too much fun in the patch uh, tonight and uh, maybe they're not yelling as loud in the morning. <laughs> Compare Mike McEwen on opening day today to Mike McEwen opening day last year. Uh, are you different? Are you the same guy? What's, what's the story? Quite a bit more relaxed. Actually knew what the heck was going on this time versus last time. <laughs> last time I was, you know, the mind's probably all, you know, in 20 different places and, uh, and, uh, yeah, completely different feeling. Uh, very relaxed and confident uh, going into today. Jamie, welcome to the Tim Hortons Briar. How does that feel? It feels pretty great. Yeah, no, it feels pretty great. Uh, I feel for those guys. We went through that last year, and I know it's not going to be easy for them. But uh, So it's a little bittersweet in that respect. But uh, our goal is getting through, and now we're into the main field. And now we can start playing, I guess, our first game. <laughs> Clearly your team put in a lot of work uh, this season. I know you're, I think, 25th on the CTRS and played a lot of events, obviously, but and leading towards this. And just give me a sense of the satisfaction that you're feeling right now. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, I love this event, and uh, it was hard going home early last year, I'll say that much. Um, but you know what? We're in, it, we're in it for the long haul now, and uh, yeah, we're just it's really excited to be into the main field. And now, you know, we talked about this with Kerry Galusha last week, just the challenge of kind of resetting the goals, resetting the focus. So what's that going to be about? Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be difficult. Uh, I'm not quite as good a shape as some of these guys that are out there. So uh, anyways, I guess we'll start with our first game tonight, and uh, we'll see how it goes, try and get lots of rest. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, I think we're going to play tough all week. So it must have felt a little bit like you were playing in a, in a bubble out there, nobody paying attention to that sheet. No, and uh, I think that's how it's going to be all week. And you know what? Nothing wrong with that uh, as far as we're concerned. We can just go out there and go about our business. And uh, But i got to tell you, it's, it's pretty cool when they make a shot for points or someone even misses against, against them, how loud it can get in this building. So uh, great atmosphere uh, here at the Briar. Team Jacobs flying under the radar, what? Yeah, well. It doesn't happen very often. Yeah, it doesn't, maybe, maybe not, but uh, we'll take it this week for sure. So a little bit of a slow start for you guys out there, just adjusting to ice rocks or the atmosphere or a little of all of that? I think it was a slow start for just myself personally. I missed a few uh, routine shots early, which um, was frustrating for me. And I know the guy, but the guys were great. Uh, they were basically, they didn't give up on me at all. And uh, obviously it's early and that's the key. Uh, we're trying to figure out the ice, trying to figure out the rocks, the conditions, you know, what the, what kind of the pro side throw is. Um, from that point on, I was able to settle in and uh, make the shots that I need to make in my position to help us win because the guys play great in front of me. Brad, just talk about the atmosphere in there today and what that was like for you. Uh, it was awesome. I have to say it was, it was a lot of fun. The, uh, the opening ceremonies was a little bit emotional, especially when I seen Jack and going out there. I, I, I filled up pretty good, um, settled down after that. But it was exciting in the opening ceremonies to see those guys. and. Um, yeah, and, and I think actually the hot shots helped us a little bit, or helped me, because the first round of hot shots, my only focus was to stay on my feet. I was so nervous, and which is strange because it's hot shots, but um, it really helped me going into this game. I felt pretty good other than the first end, getting that, getting through that was a key. And uh, yeah, it felt comfortable, it was fun. It was a great atmosphere, it was exciting, but really trying to stay in the moment and uh, you know, not get too hyped or excited out there. The TSN mics picked you up saying that uh, after those first two shots, it'll get easier from now on. Yeah, I was hoping it would because <laughs> those were tough. Um, they were tough just because you, you, the adrenaline was pumping. There was some emotion there. You know, the, the legs were shaking, the hand was shaking. And, and um, 
you know, I, I've thrown enough that I just had to trust it, and uh, it turned out okay. But after that, it certainly felt a whole lot better. Have you ever been that nervous before? Before again? No, uh, no, I, I haven't. And, and even going to the hot shots, I've never been that nervous uh, playing in, in the hot shots in the first end. It was, I was, yeah, I was very nervous um, to the point where I was shaking, um, and it was it was hard to control. And, and I was just glad that I got those over with. So getting that first deuce on the board, I imagine that helped as well and just kind of put you in the right direction. Yeah, ab absolutely. I, I think just the first end, making my two rocks in the first end and, and um, you know, knowing that even though I was shaky, I, you know, threw good rocks. Um, and then the second end, obviously, I started to settle down and then it, it felt like curling again. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was a great, great game, great day, great feeling. This is going to be a fun week. We're very appreciative for the, the support. You know, St. John's and Newfoundland is given to this Briar and, and to our team, and uh, it's going to be a fun week. Uh, you know, this may sound cliche, but I, I truly mean it. At the end of this week, it's we're going to be happy, uh, you know, with the experience, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It certainly will be great if we can win, but if we don't, just hearing this for 11, 12, 13 games is going to be amazing.